This is a, this is a reality TV show called Can You Save the Human Race? The Grannies Are Revolting. <laughs> so that's what I'm doing. I'm documenting it all. All right, so what we will be saying is that if any demolition work takes place today, um, we have been reliably informed that this will be a criminal act. And uh, I think we can use the Criminal, criminal Damage Act of 1971 uh, to stop anybody coming on with anything with the intent to destroy or damage property. Um, the reason why it will be a criminal act is because uh, one, there is a condition 51 from the Nat Natural England uh, which has said that uh, they need to put in the correct licences. Uh, I think that licence um, says that they have to uh, remove the newts uh, before any demolition work can take place. Uh, this cannot be done uh, until March 2014. So if they do any work, if, even if they do any work to remove the newts now, never mind demolition, then they will be breaking the planning orders that they have uh, signed, I believe. Um, so that's the tact we'll be, uh, the strategy we'll be using is that uh, they can't start removing the newts until March. Then they, ha they have to be sure the area is clear before they can start demolition. Um, so if they do start any demolition now, it will be a criminal act. And anybody who brings on equipment will be uh, guilty of possessing something with an intent to destroy or damage property. So that's the legal uh, approach we'll be taking. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Right, can I? You, uh, I can't let can you. I, I can't can, let you use this one. On, go on. Can I speak to the site foreman, please? He's not here at the moment. Um, if he turns up, I'll let you know who he is. Well, who's the most senior authority here today? The more senior authority, we here just to secure the site. Yeah, sure. Um, representatives of L and Q, or representatives of Oakwood. No one is here as yet. Um, we just wearing Oakwood high vis because there's no enough high vis. We just gave him like Oakwood high vis. If anyone turns up, I'll let them um, come and speak to you. So the vehicles that came in this morning, the white van and the silver. Okay, that white van there. There's a guy that is um, is meant to come and fix our container. Right. He's coming. He's coming in, but nobody's like responsible at the moment. These people are coming for inspection, for health and safety, health right. and safety checks. Okay. Anyone turns up, I'll let you know. Okay. Yeah. So I just wondered if could you liaise with him and get him to uh, you know sort of back up what he said and actually meet me. So perhaps you could... The guy from Oakwood. Where, where is Kim? He's on the way. Um, but we believe the, the chopping down of the trees and you're collecting the chipping going. Right. Um, well, I'm not quite sure what what you're doing there. I mean, you can tell me if you want, but I presume you don't have to tell me. That's fine. Okay, so part, I'm going to assume then that you are part of the demolition process. Yeah. Um, we believe that the, the work they're doing already by cutting down the trees uh, is illegal right. because they, before they start any work, and I've got the documentation here, yeah? I've tried to, but the, they, he said, the security guy is saying the foreman, site manager is not here. Okay? We've tried to talk to a guy who's got Oakwood on his back 
but claims he's not from Oakwood and he's right. from nationwide, the security people. All right. Uh, I mean, maybe you can tell me better. Is the site manager there, or is, it, is there somebody on site? Well, it'd be a conflict of interest if I start telling okay. you things that Fine. I'm not at the key to our role. All right. Well, let me just tell you why. Um, why I'm, why well, I'm asking you to not go in, or at least to call your superiors yeah. and tell them what I'm going to tell you now. Yeah. 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 So that you're not guilty of a criminal offence. Okay. Okay. No worries. Can I just have your? Have you got a card? That I, can I have? haven't got a card. No. Have you got a name that I can? My name's Johnny. Yeah. yeah. You have a and, uh, my name's Johnny. Um, so let me just t tell you why we believe you. I'm just presuming that, yeah. but you would be actually guilty of a criminal offence. Right. Now, you may want to tell that to your superiors and say, look, you know, would I be guilty of a criminal offence if I go in there? Because you know? we will argue that yeah. and we'll call the police yeah. to back us up. Yeah. All right? So, no, no. I'm just a part of the protection. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, you can use my name, my name's Johnny. Um, so kind of what I'm saying to you is, I'm asking you to get legal advice yeah, about I'll, whether you'd be yeah. commi committing a criminal offence by going in there. This is what I should do. All right. The only concern I have with that is I have a tool in there which I need to... Yeah. Okay. I'm asking you to take legal advice, basically. But obviously, probably only your boss can do that. Right, have a problem with me. Look, no problem at all. Yeah. As long, basically, what I was saying is that under the Criminal Damage Act, if you possess anything which, with the intent to destroy or damage property, that is a criminal offence. Yeah. Is it abiding by the law? Uh -huh, okay. So we're here, to collect, we're here to collect evidence of anybody who is breaking the law. Whether well, it be police or security or whatever. What's he going to do? Run around? No. No, leave it, leave it. Don't, don't, don't no, I have told him if he comes on, we will report him for that a criminal act. Report him. Please don't, 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 don't film, him from don't coming film in. The face. Don't film, don't please. I'm not the police. Now? Yeah. You could just criminal. come out of the way and let no. this guy in. There's police, no please. traffic coming down. Would you ask him to pull in by the side of the road? I'll, go, I'll ask him to come in here because that's what he's legally allowed to do. And we're saying he's not. No, we're not saying he's not. We're not saying he's this is why I wanted to speak to you earlier. Where's your evidence? To show me your evidence to support it. OK, listen. You're if we let all the traffic okay. here so, to let this guy come in, what he's allowed to do legally, to enter the site, we're allowing him to do so. Yeah, but we're not. Well, you've got no right to stop him. That's we the have. Thing. We have. We have. Then call the police. We are. OK, okay. then let this so, guy in. OK. This is what you're causing at the moment. Right. This is the disruption that you're causing. This is what you're really not fair to all these people. All right. Okay. Right. No, 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 no,
Are you filming it? I don't want to be on me. It's on me. Well, it's on me at the right. moment. Okay. So I prefer it not to. All right. So I choose for you not to film me. That's fine. my right. It's not filming you. It's filming me. Okay. Right. Um, so I'm a reasonable person. Can you come to the side so this man can come through, please? Not until. Come I'm over asking this side. you. I'm going to ask you a question. Can you let me ask it? You can ask me any question you wish. Okay. Right. If we get him onto here, we will blockade it at the perimeter of your You've property. You've got absolutely no right to do Okay, that. so you want me to explain now. What I was going to say, let him on here, oh, and right. then I will explain to you the paperwork. And, yeah? Look at the disruption. Yeah, I can. Absolutely no Yeah, no. Okay. Right, okay. So, can, do we have an agreement? But we will let him on here. We will I, I won't agree him. with anything. Okay. So let I'm me, not in a position to do so. All right, so let me give you the documentation, the reason why I've said to him, if he comes on site, he will be committing a criminal act. Well, then okay. you enforce that act we through are. whoever you need to. I'm telling you, this guy is legally allowed to enter this He's site. He's not. Can you not film me, please? Can you please I've asked not, you twice. take the hand off me? Yeah, don't do Then don't film me. I've chosen for you not to film me. Do you mind me asking what your superiors advised? No. Okay. No, we, we are stopping him from committing a criminal act. Well, okay. I, as far as I'm concerned, I think he's, he's illegally authorised to come on site. That's my no. job to let him in. Right, and it's my job to stop a criminal act. Oh, if you okay. if you think so, then you're gonna have to ring the police. Oh, I'm we gonna are, call the police. and He's apparently he is. Oh, oh, I'm gonna call the police. Can I have that number again? Okay, oh, I'm gonna call I? the police. Or oh, if you think you're legally doing this, then you're gonna have to call the police. Because we are doing. So, what I'd appreciate it if you could ask him to 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 back off until the police arrive. No, but that's not my job. Let him come on site. No. Then you call the police. If he does, he's committing a criminal act, and if you enforce yeah, that, yeah, no, that's what we keep. Saying. If you enforce well. that, you are engaging in in a criminal act as well. You're assisting. You're aiding and abetting. Well, basically, you, you don't you don't you get this? But if he comes on site, okay. he is committing a criminal act. Well, and if you enforce it, yeah. you are aiding and abetting. Wait for the police to turn up then. Well, good. We'll wait for the Thank police you. We agreed on that. All right. Excellent. They're on their way. Yep. Okay, yeah. This is film, film this up, yeah. Uh, right, what we've said to this other lorry is that um, 
Can you hear this, Sarah? Yeah, I can hear it. Okay, good. You can hear me okay? Just about. All right, I'll, I'll try and speak up as much as I can, yeah? Okay. Uh, right, like the, the lorry in front, um, I've, you can answer this question if you want, but are you part of the demolition process? No, we're working on behalf of Quadrant Construction Limited. Right, yeah, and we believe that they are illegally starting demolition work, and this equipment would be equipment, uh, you, you are possessing something with intent to destroy and damage property, uh, and that is an offence under the Criminal Damage Act 1971. Now, if you want to argue that they've got uh, a right to do it in a licence, um, I want to draw your attention to uh, section 51 of the uh, permit by Natural England, a GCN licence that was issued by Natural England. Under section 51 it says that uh, the work shall not commence until all the relevant licences have been in place and that the first part of that licence, and I'm referring now to the County Enfield Council document, is that uh, the site shall be cleared of newts before demolition work takes place. Now, in part C7 of the Enfield Planning Permission, uh, that work of removing the newts cannot start until March 2014. Uh, and then, after the site has been cleared and been verified to be cleared, then they can start demolition. So by taking part in the demolition process now, uh, I, it is our contention and our belief that uh, this is being done illegally and we've been reliably informed by a person in, uh, who works in planning that this is not just a civil matter, it is a criminal matter and therefore the police can be, uh, get involved. So what I'm asking is that you uh, not enter the site or that you get legal advice before doing so because both the driver and whoever um, gives instruction will be guilty of a criminal offence. The, the police are on the way, so therefore hopefully we can get some verification on that. But it, ultimately it's up to the courts to decide. But we are we will charge anyone who goes onto site uh, with a criminal criminal activity. Right, so we can't go into site today is what you're saying? Yes. Right. Do you want to speak to Quadrant then, Sarah? Yeah, I'm, I'm well going to have to. Can I, can I call you back in a few minutes? Sarah, this, this, yeah, this unit may well be for the environmental people, because it's a canteen, isn't it? Same as when it was when we was working down at the docks. Right. Uh, well, it's certainly not for the environmental people, because uh, the environmental people are not allowed on site. So, if it was for the environmental people, it would be off the site somewhere. Right, we'll sorry, away. could you repeat the last bit? Sorry. They're saying it's not. Sarah. So right. it's just going to okay, be avoided. Yeah, just give me two minutes. Let me speak to Quadrant. I'll come straight back to you, OK? All right, no worries. Thank, All you. Right, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, bye. Bye. All right, cheers, mate. I know... I know let me just, no, let me just switch this off, off and then we can talk freely, yeah? And Kim, can you say that again? Yeah, Natural England. <laughs> investigating the li uh, licenses now, but they do confirm they believe a breach in the conditions has occurred. Thank you very much, thank you. It means they can't start work. Yeah. yeah. Well, they're not coming in. Yeah. Police are on their way. Oh, really? We phone them, not them. Oh, OK, right. Um, your phone or your...? He's the Enfield Independent. Oh, OK. Um, and... Um, Natural England have just the second confirmed it appears a breach has occurred right. and they're investigating it further. So we've got grounds at the moment to stop anybody entering that site and doing any work, okay. which is what we're doing. Do you guys want to sit down and get no, on with no. it? Absolutely. You're talking about hippies and activists I'm and eco-warriors. Eco How are you feeling about this? Well, uh, I mean, I'm not breaking the law, no. nor are they. Um, so, and if these people truly believe as we do in the environmental value of this site and they want to support us, that's marvellous. Well, we didn't know how much support we were going to get, yeah. but it's been amazing. 
Um, we're getting, even though, because it's out on social network, I've had a message this morning, bon chance from France. <laughs> uh, so it's an international concern now, not just a small local one. Yeah. Local residents turning up, which is marvellous, expecting a lot more, especially if there's a tube strike. Yes. <laughs> People came this morning and stayed for half an hour on their way to work. Yeah. They went on to work and they're going to join us on their way back. Um, so what you've got really are the grannies <laughs> and the housewives. <laughs> And so what's the current state of play at the moment then in terms of... We're going to be yeah. here every day, okay. as long as it takes. Yeah. We're here from 8 in the morning till 5 in the evening. I'm not going to be here all day, every day, no. I can assure you. <laughs> it shows that people really do care and really are prepared to come out in this sort of weather and try and fight. I mean, oh, here's our police yeah. now. It's police now. And how, how are you personally feeling about it? Yeah. Never do that again. Song and dance time. He's claiming that if we try and blockade the entrance, yeah, we will be blocking the highway. Mm. And so I argued that if we were right up against the fence, the gates, that would be off the highway because he's saying that the highway goes from fence to fence. You know, including footpaths, but he seems to think that even if we blockaded the gate, we'd still be blocking the highway. Mm. But that would be for a, a court to decide, I suppose. Do you, you know that? Another one behind you. Uh, we could be liable for arrest for blocking the highway. Why we're not on the highway? Well, this is what he's saying. The highway goes from the fence to fence on either side of the road. So I said, well, if we're into uh, from the fence to the gate, for example, yes. and he's trying to argue, no, that's still the highway. Oh, God's sake. But whether anybody wants to get arrested for doing that no. is entirely up to them. As long as you don't stand still, you are not obstructing the heart. As long as you keep moving, and what we do is we just move slow. Like that moss, That's like the uh, so you want cracking sites. In yeah. front or behind the lorries? In front. In front of the lorries. They're not going to let us go on that moss. No. Well, we'll go as far as we can. Yeah, okay. Okay, what happens to that? Um, Filming. Somebody coordinating this? Not really, no. Not at all. Can I just, what is your intention for today in relation to the vehicles and the work that, that is taking place? Uh, can, can I answer that? Yes, please. So I've explained, okay. I've got the paperwork, okay. I've explained to the officer yeah. that uh, if we believe that if yeah. those lorries come on, they are committing yeah. a criminal offence. Okay. Uh, the reason, do you want the reasons for that? Yeah, yeah, thank you. So um, the reason is that. Uh, before any demolition work can take place. Demolition of the buildings, or does that include trees oh, and uprooting? Felling of trees as well, which they've okay. already done. So okay. that obviously is a separate matter for that on a different occasion, so we're following other people. Yeah. Okay, so we're trying to prevent any more uh, criminal acts taking place. So that's why we feel that you have a role here, because yeah. uh, both us and we want your support in trying to prevent a criminal activity. Okay, I am happy to investigate that criminal element. Oh, oh, That's all right. I just wondered who was there. Me, only me. <laughs> That's all right. Um, I'm, I'm happy to look into that side of things in terms of criminal damage. I want you to be mindful that it's a public highway and obstructing it then means that you could technically become the bad guys because you end up breaking the law by obstructing well, the highway. We you don't want you to be found. Sorry. 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 As you can see, we're, we're all very peaceful. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we're all law-abiding. Yeah. We don't want to break any laws, okay. but um, we also have a right to protest. Yeah. Is, we would like to stay within the laws to make that protest. Okay, thank you. Um, yeah. So we have no intention. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So what, how would you feel about the lorries being brought on if we go in and speak to the site manager around the intention of okay. these people? Okay, so if I sort of continue a little bit. Uh, I've said that these um, trucks constitute part of the demolition process. And therefore, they have in their possession uh, something which uh, could, will cause, could, or is intended to be caused, uh, 
criminal damage or used to be using a criminal act, where they uh, have to clear the area of newts. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And uh, as part of that license, and it's in with the uh, planning application, they can't start that until March. Okay. The reason for that being that they have to Hello. wait for the amount of hibernation. At the bottom of trees, yeah. they can travel up to a kilometre from their breeding pond, yeah. which means they could be anywhere on this site. And because yeah. they're hibernating at the moment, they'll be killed. Yeah. Now, this is a European protected species. Yeah. So this is why the felling of trees, uprooting of trees, as they've already done, okay. is illegal if you follow these guidelines. <laughs> and the other thing is, we've had uh, advice from uh, somebody who works in planning, albeit not in anything, okay. Okay. that uh, it is a criminal act, not a civil act. Okay. The offence is criminal, not civil. Because it's criminal damage. And we found you this morning, by the way, not them. <laughs> Okay. Well, I, who you well, I, I, I phoned the police because we wanted you to so, come down and see what's okay. happening. Well, do you know whether that's been obtained or not? They've obtained a licence, okay. but the licence clearly states, yeah. unless it was changed at the last minute, which is what Natural England are checking for us now, okay. so that no work nice. could be commenced before March, between March and May. Okay. Nuke fencing and the drop boxes, no, they're not starting the demolition, they're not starting the... Can you the... speak to the London Wildlife Trust because she's got one minute and she's got to go. Hello, Diane. Hello. Yeah, that's all right. Um, very quickly, um, the, the site managers here inform me that they are not taking down any trees within the protection area. They're not demolishing anything. All they're doing is getting the preparatory works in place um, so that they can put in the new fencing, etc. And, for example, the staff canteen. But they're not doing any other type of excavation, tree felling or, or demolition work. Thank you. Cheerio. One of us, two. We're going to go find out what they've got first. We can take them and we'll try and get them. Just one second. <laughs> Are they guilty? <laughs> <laughs> I have to say that everything looks reasonable. Um, we haven't spoken to Natural England yet and that's what we're trying to do. But at this time, we don't have any concerns from the plans that we've seen, the, you know, the, the license they've got and the, the maps that they've shown us. No works appear to have been taking place where they shouldn't have been. You tell me, no, I, but we're waiting to speak to Natural England and then we'll find out a little bit more. Yes, and please take on board what the Wildlife Trust told you, that because this yeah. site's been derelict for four years, yeah. where newts may not right. have hibernated before, because the yeah. grass has been right. mown, it's now grown. Yeah. So where Natural England might have said, well, you can actually dig up that bit, yeah. that isn't the case now, and I'm sure that's that the place we'll have yeah. with Natural England when we get to speak to them. That's fine. Right. Okay. So right what? opposite, can you imagine and the element of people that if it does get built I am filming so <laughs> you, might, you might want to say no comment but no, no comment <laughs> you're proven guilty can um, we'll what's the situation the with the lorry then? Oh. I'm in the oh. middle of it for oh. example that lorry yeah. is, is not going to I know it's a canteen it's my view is that it's, it's hard standing all the way down that lorry is not going to be driving onto any soft ground at all that's not the yeah go on that's and not so, the issue but go on no but so what I'm getting at is that Obstructing that lorry's access into the site, I don't think achieves the purpose that you've told me you're you're here for, which is to protect the newts, because that lorry isn't is not it's going on to hard standing. It's been driven on hard standing, and it's not going to be on. Okay. Yeah. But what's it going Can to I? Do it's I'm preparatory it's work for March. Trees. So when they start the demolition come March, that's 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 but going to be put the in site. Well, I don't I don't know the exact allotted start date. But what I do know is that by being here and, and protesting that that's your right, yeah. preventing the access of that lorry, I don't see how it achieves your purpose. Well, can I just clarify, it's yeah. not about that lorry damaging newts, yeah. it's about making sure that L&Q stick to their yeah. uh, license terms yeah. and don't start demolition till all the newts have been cleared, which they can't do till March. Uh, 
when so that's the issue as far as I see it, but I would, not just I would protecting Nuke. Why not let that lorry in? Because it, what it does do, it shows reasonableness on your part, it shows you're willing to listen, cooperate with the developers, and that it, it, I think it gives you a, a strong level of credibility as well, because it shows that you're looking at the situation, you're Where's assessing the, the risk. We, well, we can find out exactly where I want the lorry to be parked in a position where we can actually see what it's doing at all times. Well, we, what I can tell you, that's, that's not going to be able to go off-road. With, with the weight of that lorry, that won't be going off-road. Yeah. That's no, all hard standing. Yes, yeah, sure, but again, I say that's not the issue. The no, issue yeah. is facilitating the demolition. Which yeah. that does. Which that does. Yeah, and if they like start, it. like they already have done, started cutting yeah. down trees, <laughs> which we believe is illegal, which yeah. is something we've got to follow through with. Yeah. So it's not about whether it damages or kills a new. It's yeah. about whether it facilitates the operation of demolish, yeah. demolition before March yeah. and before May. they've cleared but May. Right. But in fairness, a canteen here or not here is probably not I'm going to affect. I'm told that lorry contains yeah. things to cut down trees. Mine's not that it's a canteen. No, 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 no. That mine's, truthfully, okay. that lorry, to the best of my knowledge, has no connection with tree surgery, felling or anything else whatsoever. Could it is purely site facility. Someone Could we the site's told you. That Not that I've lorry. Created. There was a lorry here previously that may have been, but that one isn't. You said the blue would be yeah. blue one. Could, okay. could we ask you to verify that by just taking a look inside and make sure there's no equipment? I'm not going to. I'm quite happy to get the site manager here to, to speak to you and to explain to you where it's going and what its purpose is and what it contains, if you'd be happy with that. I think that may be, may be helpful to you. Sir? It's, it's your. But it's your neighbourhood, <laughs> but we can't stop it from facilitating its access onto the site. Yeah. That's the trouble. Okay. Yeah, we're trying to be reasonable on both no, sides. All right. Get the site yeah. manager out to confirm exactly what is inside that lorry yeah. corner. Yeah. Okay. Thank I mean, that you. would be. I think that again, it just shows a willingness to communicate. No, uh, that's fair enough. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. Well, no, you use it. You use it. Do that he's going. You think he's going? I think he deserves a big cheer. <laughs> <laughs>